Hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to be headed into the frog's domain today and then maybe do some other stuff, but we'll see how long it takes us to go through this. The frog's domain, when I first played through it on my main playthrough, was actually pretty tough, but I'm hoping that it'll be... It should be easier with the magic wand and, you know, since I've gone through it a couple times now. Uh, as far as enemy types go, it uh, if you've got the page, it shows it right here. They kind of like just go in age groups. Like you see the top left, still in training, they take turns attacking, well equipped, always tries to attack three times, and grown ups have hooks on their tongues. Those are pretty much the only three things, and, and I guess there's the baby swarm, which literally just crawls along slowly. But they're not too difficult on their own, it's only when they attack in groups that they become a problem. There's a, a little secret area over here, but we don't need to go to that right now. We'll come back to that later. For now, we're just gonna travel down into the domain. The frog's domain. And why are we going here? Uh, you may ask. Well, after this loading screen, if you look on here in the bottom right, it shows that there's a magic orb here, which is, you know, one of those things we've been searching for. You can see it right in the middle of the map. Uh, there's that green area there. It's, it's supposedly there's a green key here, and that's what we are going to get. So let's start by just going down. Let me, there's nothing up here, I'm pretty sure. Nothing up here right now. Boy, there's a lot of hooks around here, huh? Wonder if those will come into play, <laughs> right? Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, I don't know if you saw, but there's these three guys chilling in the pool. They really will leave you alone unless you start fighting things, so we're just going to leave them alone for now. Boy, there's like a meeting going on here. Got these frogs surrounding the the fox wizard, and there's a weird, strange item there, huh? wonder if we'll have anything to do with that. It's weird that it lets you just walk over here. I feel like there's something. I feel like there's a secret here, but we're going to leave that for now. Chest up there. Again, these guys really do not care about where you go. We're gonna go into here first, break some pots. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a fight. These are just like many other enemies in the game, you can stab and dodge out of the way. You can probably get two swings on them, but I, I like to play it safe. We got a chest here. What do we get? Ah, oh, sweet. A level of flower. Hey, look, it's that chest from before. That was a really tight circle that that money rolled in. Um, another thing I'll say about this area is there is a surprising lack of secrets. There's a surprising lack, like, you'd think there'd be something under these stairs, but no. There's, there's many nooks and crannies that, like, look like they would house a secret, but they actually don't. I thought that was kind of surprising. Let's get some more hit points, baby! That's what we like to see. We're stronger now. Oh, love seeing that bar fill up higher. I've had these guys come and fight me when I fight this next guy here. Hopefully they don't, though. Oops. Whoa. Oh. There we go. We got another chest. How about that? Three dynamites. Boy, that sure looks like a golden door down there, doesn't it? I bet I bet it is a golden door. Alright, here is the main area of Frog's Domain. There's a lot of stuff going on in this room. And I'm gonna try and show it all to you. We'll start off just by going down here, because this gives us a look at the main area. As you can see, it's got two uh, big guys in there. They both have the tongues. They're, they're kind of tough to fight um, at the same time, but I'm sure we can handle it. You can pretty easily sneak up on this guy and get some swings in. And then if you, you want to take the top path first, because there's a treasure over here next to this guy. Not very observant, this one, huh? Sweet. A couple of red berries. Just so you can see, there's nothing over on this path. 
it's just a different path you can take. Again, no, no secrets over here. It's totally possible that I'm missing some secrets, but just on my regular look. Excuse me, sir. Whoa! <laughs> just pulled your me into your death. Um, there is a stairway right here that leads you around to kind of go a, in a sneaky way up to these guys, but we're going to avoid that for now. We're just going to take the traditional route to start with. Just so you can see everything. Oh, I love getting that three-hit combo. Wish they gave more money, though. Again, no secret paths in here. In fact, that's an invisible wall straight up, and nothing here either. It's just uh, really strange. Got this little spot for... You know, it almost looks like there's an arrow pointing here. I kind of want to take these guys on separately. Got a little too close to that one. There we go. Take that. And we're going to go over here first. So be careful, there's a bunch of baby swarms here. I don't know the purpose of these guys here, except just kind of showing that there's a little pen. I suppose you can get an upload of magic. And then we're going to open this door. I wonder where that goes. So you can take this path up to them, but we're going to try and sneak around. gonna be sneaky. Uh, like I said, this is the path from this ladder over here. So if you want to avoid all those other little guys, you can just go straight to here. It's much easier to fight two of them at a time than one. Oh, I think I avoided that. Excuse me, sir. Just need to trip my potion. Oh, I disagree. Just like it said in the manual, they swing three times. Ah, I dodged the wrong way. Oh, come on! There we go. That took longer than it should have. Let's drink that potion let's go through the door! Oh my goodness, we made it to the golden door. Hooray for us, right? Let's go get that gem! Uh-oh! It's been already stolen. So I, get, I, I did a little tease there. We already knew that was stolen. If you look at this, this page. Shows the red one is coveted in a forest temple, which we already got. And the green one, stolen to the top of the sky. What? What does that mean? Huh? What could that possibly mean? So let's go back to this map, because we still have some more stuff to do here. Even though we didn't get the key, there's still stuff. As far as I can tell, there's nothing else to do in that room. You can see the boss. I believe this was supposed to be the boss for the area. If you look at uh, the little drawing in the bottom left, it shows this little guardian guy there. I believe that, that yeah, that was the uh, supposed to be the boss, but he was already defeated. So we're going to open this stairway. We're going to go back and heal since we're only down to one flask and we've got a pretty big fight ahead of us. Oh yeah? You guys want to fight? Uh-uh. It's nighttime. <laughs> get the ladder, get the ladder. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, what are you guys going to do now? So, uh, oh, there's a chest. I missed this chest right here. How silly. And of course, it's going to be an upgrade thing. Uh, we should probably go do it, huh? Are those guys still at the top of the stairs? Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And there's a little hidden area over here, which leads to this place, which is a strange place. Uh, as you can see, it's filled with tons of tiny little swarms. You hit one, and then they're all going to blow up. Make sure you just get out of the way. Like, literally, it's just a big chain reaction. 
I guess there's a chest in here. That's that's definitely something that's here. And more dynamite. That's definitely gonna come in handy soon. One little thing with nothing else in it. And then we get a ladder here. Oh, okay, so we did have to save that path. So this ladder just leads back to that, that uh, shrine room from the very beginning. I'll just show you real quick. See? Might as well use it. Those guys just went straight back to the pool. They're like, well, he's gone. Going back to this place. So, obviously this is a lot of enemies. So what I like to do is equip one of our 10 dynamite and throw it in the middle of them. Oh! So that killed a bunch of them. More! Oop. And then you can kind of just shoot magic at the rest of them. There we go. These guys don't know what to do. Oh, did I fall down at the end? I forgot that happens. And there we go! Easy peasy, right? And then what do we have here? Something, something, something. We will take it. So we didn't actually get to see it in this area because I fought so good, but the frogs had those hook tongues, you know? That like pulled you in. Well, guess what? We can do that now. This thing pulls, uh, pulls you towards the hooks and pulls enemies towards you. And it doesn't use any magic for uh, hooking on to these hooks. If you hook onto an enemy, then it does use some of your magic. So we're gonna go over here. And hook on over to here. Go ahead and make sure we get away. Oh, took a little bit of damage. We're gonna open this chest, get some money. So this opens up a lot of possibilities for navigation. There are tons of chests, tons of secret areas that are hidden uh, that you can find with this hookshot thing. And that's it. That's that's all of the frog's domain. As you can see, this is going to take us back to here, the beginning of the area. Just going to take a look at the map. I'm pretty sure. Well, there's, there's, yeah, there's one more chest we can get. We might as well get it, right? I'm just looking to see if I missed anything. I don't, I don't think there's anything else except that one up there. So let's go get it. Who wants to see some more secrets? We got time. Back to the frog's domain. So I believe there's something over here. Yes, yeah, so there's a chest over here you can get. Pretty exciting. We got uh, one single blueberry. Oh, we can level up too. Remind me to uh, remember to level up. Uh, speaking of frogs, in the comment, in the comments, tell me a story about your favorite frogs in your life. Have you ever had any fun or weird experiences with frogs? Leave a comment to let me and everyone else know. Alright, now we can hit for more damage, too. Look at that. We're growing up. That's another reason, uh, so two reasons you want to come into the frog's domain. Those level up things and, uh, and obviously getting this this hook shot because you are going to absolutely need this hook shot later in the game. So here's another hidden area. Come up here, find a chest. Oh, we got a, a shard. Cool. I'm hoping I'm not gonna have to fight them. I'm probably gonna have to fight them. No, they didn't even notice me. They're like, what little fox? There's no little fox here. Oh, I actually uh, remember. There's another. How could I forget? There is another hidden thing over here. Nope, I already got that, and I had forgotten that I had gotten that. So let's get out of here. I have a feeling there's more hidden things in this place that I just haven't found. Totally possible. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. With I'm, I'm much, much further along in my regular playthrough in my free time in this game, and there is... <laughs> I won't say too much, but 
there is far more hidden than you would ever expect. So now we can just do this. Who needs stairs when you can hookshot everywhere? And we're back up here. And then we are back to here. So we've got this, uh, oops. We've got this issue, don't we? Of uh, the green stone being at the top of the the world or the sky or whatever, right? What are we gonna do about that? Well, let me show you what we do about that in what I consider one of the coolest places in this game. We're just gonna go back up here. I'm not sure if this is the quickest way or the slowest way, but it's the way I'm going. We're gonna save up here just in case anything bad happens. I'd be surprised if anything bad happens. So let's look at the map of this place again, the ruined atoll. As you see right in the middle is kind of a, uh, I'm not sure what that symbol means. It, it looks like something. If you look at this little picture of the ruined atoll, he's standing on the sand and he's looking up at a building in the sky. I'm sure that these things say something about it, but I'm gonna show you how to get there. It's, it's very easy, but I could absolutely see it being something that people miss. Hello, Mr. Bird, who I don't understand what you do. So we've got all this stuff, right? We we powered on all these four... Uh, we powered on the four corners, but to what end, right? Well, it's to this end. You take a little rest, do a little prayer, and you want to get inside. And it transports us to... Uh, a question mark. <laughs> Let's take a look. We're at a, we're at a building in the sky. Kind of looks like that building in the sky, doesn't it? And now that we have this, we can come right over here. Pretty cool, right? My mind was racing, wondering like what's going to be in here, and I'm excited for you all to see it. Here we are. Here we are. We are in a big old library. The Great Library, some might say. Whoa, I do not remember this happening before. Hello, are you friendly? I do not remember seeing this thing before. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> are you following me around? How did I not see you before? You're lovely! I, I adore you! Oh my goodness, he's following me around. Oh, wonderful. Uh, we don't have a map for this area. I don't know if you can get one. I don't think you can. Well, there's some big statues here. Bye, friend! I'll see you soon. Or some other day. Oh, we got one of these. Uh, if you don't remember what these do, I'll show you real quick. Can rest at them and my far too long loading screen it brings you to this hero's grave and we can't do anything here right now but I can tell you with confidence you do think you do do things here eventually don't worry about it right now and we're back let's uh oh, I can't take these stairs I gotta go down past this guard with glowy eyes. I tried swinging at it before, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I could not find anything hidden in this area either. Doesn't mean there isn't anything hidden, I just couldn't find anything. And now we're up at this place. Doesn't this look cool? A little lighthouse. Very bright. Very bright. We just keep climbing to the top. More books. Man, but this leads to a secret. And then, uh, oh, let me just get over here. We've got, this is obviously like a study of some kind. Um, 
There's there's chalkboards with tons of information. I can't read the information though. We got some journal pages, many pages. Let's see, the cathedral, huh? With 13 steps of what to do. Yep, that's a that's certainly a thing. Interesting. In the bottom left, legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. Got another mini page here. The door in the mountains. We saw that. We saw that earlier accidentally. Looks pretty cool. And then we get a little bit of not an explanation, but at least the names of some of the items. It gives you some hints, like tincture obviously ups your attack but lowers your defense. Bracer makes your stamina go down less. Muffling bell makes you quieter. Louder echo makes you louder somehow. I don't know what this means for Aura's gem. And then this. I've tried figuring out what this means, but I just don't know. <laughs> I'm sure someday I'll figure it out. So that's a cool little menu piece. Got another one over here. The quarry. Ooh. Monastery, cavity, rooted ziggurat, gun, lower miasma. And then the swamp, old burying ground. So we got three maps to new areas. I wonder if we'll experience those. got a another little magic board that oh man shows shows some things I'm not gonna comment on it but you can you can look at that and try and interpret what you will out of it look at that we have powered on this fast travel point and this little saving point So we've got a few minutes left, so we're, I'm just going to continue on even though I don't expect to progress. But up here, we're going to find out who stole the key. And the stealer of the key is this person. It's a boss fight. Let's do it! Man, I haven't done this in so long. Oops. Oh. So obviously she's got these orbs that she throws at you. This is a lightning strike, you really want to watch out for that. But you can get some good swings in. I just try to focus on doing spells. Oh! And then eventually she will summon some things to fight. Come on, give me some stuff. It's tempting to go in for a strike, but you really want to wait a little bit because that electricity can get you more often than you think. As long as she's in there, she can't really attack you too good.
Stop it, please. Oh, she's so close! We got it! Holy crap! I wasn't expecting to beat her on the first try, but I'll take it. Ooh! And there you go, that's how you get the green key. And then yeah, they're 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 dead. We killed them. Oh, nothing gets the heart racing like a good tunic boss fight. I'll have you know, in my original playthrough, up to this point, I still hadn't found the magic wand. So I tried this boss fight like eight or nine times, just trying to use the 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 hook shot to try and pull her in and waiting until she did the electricity stabbing down. And I just was making no progress. I was like, it has to be the hook shot, right? Because that's what we just got in the frog's domain. So it has to be the hook shot. And then I gave up and used this to go back to the main world. And then I found the magic wand. And you need that magic wand to win that fight. So make sure you have the magic wand. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, we did a lot this episode. We did a lot more than I thought. Uh, thank you for watching. Next up, we're going to head to the quarry and see what we can do there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you like this video. Leave a comment again about your favorite, favorite interactions with frogs. That is tough to say. Favorite interactions with frogs. And then subscribe if you want to see more tunic videos because I'm going to be playing more of this game. I love it. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.